This is a Vermeer BC-1000 XL brush chipper. It was made by Speccast and it's in 150th scale. This thing is fantastic. Speccast just killed it. It's a, it's a great little model. It was completely unexpected, at least to me it was. And it's honestly criminal that we don't have a chip truck to go with this thing because it's just great. They did a great job with it. The paint on it is very good. The casting details are very good. All the little uh, you know, plastic detailing is very good. The decals are great. Really, just everything about it is fantastic. Speccast just nailed it. They really did. The it does have a little bit of functionality to it, which is pretty cool. I say a little bit because there's only a couple things that really move anyway. The spout can change direction. Your tailgate or loading ramp, whatever you want to call it, does fold up for transport, which is pretty cool. If you come to the back here. You do have these little rubber uh, safety guards, but if you poke, poke through there and lift up, you can see that brush, uh, the chipper head down in there. It's really hard to see, but it is there, and that's pretty cool. They could have just yeah, made that a black piece of plastic and been done with it, but they didn't, which is really nice. The, the wheels look really good. You do have a trailer jack here that is the, uh, the screw type. So you can you know, spin the bottom here and adjust the height, which is pretty darn cool. The tongue is pretty nice. You do have a hitch pin, which is awesome. You have a mile's, about a mile length of chain here, which is, you know, all right, whatever. It keeps you from losing the pin, which is cool. But it's just kind of a universal style hitch, I guess, which is still pretty neat. I don't know what spec cast, if I can ever get this pin back in. I don't know what spec cast actually good lord there we go old fat fingers i don't know what spec cast actually meant this to uh actually tag along behind but it is pretty cool like i said it's criminal that we don't have a chipper truck for it to go with maybe there's one coming, but I, I would highly doubt that from Speccast, but it is a fun thought. Now, it does work with the first gear Super Duties. The, the hitch is just about perfect for it. The only downside is the trailer jack is just a little bit too tall, so it just doesn't quite sit in that hitch the way it's supposed to. But that's not so bad. You really don't see just brush chippers being pulled around by pickups anyway you don't see it very often it certainly does happen sometimes you need a second chipper on site or if you're leaving you know just a pile pile of chips on site because somebody wants it that does happen so all you need is the chipper or if you got to rent one you go and you get it with your pickup now these things do weigh about five thousand pounds give or take so you're not exactly going to be pulling it with your honda anyway but it still looks pretty good. I love that it's kind of a universal hitch. I love that they included the hitch pin. I really like to think that there's some sort of a chip truck coming. Maybe from Speccast, maybe not. Who knows? The way Diecast Masters is adding trucks to their lineup, you never know. Uh, so hopefully there's something coming. I'd like to think. Anyway, overall, it's just a fantastic model. I got mine for $29 off of eBay. I've seen them for, you know, $36, $37. To me, $36, $37, it's worth it. This thing is great. It's a great accessory. And I maybe I'm old school, but for, you know, $35, the, the detail that you get in, in such a, a compact package is phenomenal. It's worth every penny to me. But that's 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 how I feel. Anyway, that's all I got for this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. If there's anything you'd like to see, let me know. I might just have it. As always, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of what I have, please subscribe to Maryland Construction Diecast. Thank you.